The airport is tucked away from the main road as you drive into Port Mansfield. It's a calm and peaceful area. The Charles R. Johnson Airport looks a little abandoned. It's not, though an RV park sits next to it. A side road winds by. That's where we found Norman Laval feeding wild deer in his yard. He lives here year-round. Laval says he keeps an eye on the airport and sees people walking by. You never know who they are. I mean, this, this happens day and night, after dark. But, uh, and that, that's concern, that's been a big concern of mine. He's lived here for five years. Laval admits he's photographed suspicious activity before. When you see two or three cars going up there uh, at 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night, who is that? What do they do in two or three cars at 9 or 9.30 at night? And then you don't see, uh, you don't see the cars come back for a half hour, and you don't see a plane taking off. So why are they there? A game fence with a controlled gate circles the airport. To get on the runway, it's pretty simple. You see, this post right here has a button sticking out right on the side. And all you have to do is just press it once, and that'll allow the gate to open up. We were able to walk up to a plane without any problems. Port Director Ron Mills says that's all about to change. Drone testing is set to start here soon. That will bring in more security. My agreement with the incoming program that's coming in was that I would increase the security as far as keep track of who can go in and out. So we're probably by the middle of next week we'll have a keypad installed and it'll be issued by person. So each person who has a plane at the airport or has a lease at the airport will uh, have an, a, a pin number assigned to them. This will allow the airport to keep track of who comes and goes. Because there are going to be more resources, there's going to be human occupation, uh, occupants on the on the airfield on a daily basis. Um, we felt it was better to put a much stronger, more stringent controls. Laval says the controls are long overdue. He's happy they're coming. That's a good thing. It will finally bring security to the last unsecured county airport in the valley. Michael Scott, Channel 5 News, Port Mansfield.